Hello everyone, tonight we did some testing last night with the new commander William Wallace which is an infantry commander and some of the reports really shocked me, really surprised me. Um, further in the video we did testing with gear in Ark of Osiris, we did it without gear. Um, I also said without formation but some still got the wedge formation so it's a little bit messed up and city skins we don't know them as well. So in the arc reports, I'm basically down 5% more normal damage, which is 5% basic attack, hunter attack, and smite damage. But yeah, that's not the biggest issue. I think it's still interesting to see those reports, right? So the talent tree that I used is this one. I think there is a lot of uh, optimization possible. You could get that defense talent you could get it to the blue lost talent even though i don't know if the blue lost talent is the way to go but this is for testing and just a punch of damage if you just want to do damage and this tree is pretty awesome but of course you'd really want the march speed so then you want to get rid of the talent that i have three out of five the blue one and the two blues in front and one defense stat and then you can get i think all the march speed so, yeah, that that's something I, I'd i rather have. Some more March Beat is always good to have. Then, after arc testing, so not during arc testing, but after arc testing, I, used, I did some extra battles with a friend, and we just used our gear that we normally use and our armaments that we normally use. My armament set for a free-to-play, it's pretty insane, right? I know it's low health, but 3.4 all damage is instead of the health slots, so that compensates a lot, you know. And I just need to transmute a little bit here and there and get an extra flag with the legendary one. But if I have 8 of those scripts things... Anyways, that's uh, for later. We use the talent tree of Liu as well, I think this one is pretty okay. And for Gorgo we had my favorite field tree, which I always use. Then, the first couple of reports were just trying to find which commander needs to be primary. We had Liu Che and William versus Zhuge and Herman. Keep in mind, he had wedge formation and I didn't have any formation, which was a bit worse, of course. Um, we're losing pretty hard here. It seems like the William Wallace primary did a little bit worse, but I don't know. It's gonna be just... Uh, Coincidence, it's 20k difference, I believe, with the past report. Um, so I don't know. This time, we also use Scipio. Scipio is not a good thing. Scipio was really bad, trading almost like one to three. Almost that's not something you really like. So, for the people who ask for Scipio, Scipio is not the way to go. We have Gorgo and William Wallace, which, well, almost one to two negative trade wasn't that great but it's archers so yes it makes sense archers are a lot better um at attacking infantry they have like i don't know what it's called but they gain more damage if they attack infantry then we had william gorgo against the same march and this did a little bit better it was um still not good but i think it was a bit better right 150k now but yeah, testing against Herman is always weird, always really, I don't know, um, Herman and Juge, it, it's not a, really a test march, same with uh, Gorgo and William, it's probably just a field march, it's not the best march, um, spoiler alert, William Wallace with Liu Che is the best. We tried some other combinations like William with Alexander, with Sippy, and some other interesting combis. Here we did it with Liu Che, and it almost beat Zhuge Liang um, with Herman. But keep in mind, like the 5% from Wedge Formation does make a little bit of difference. And the one party who gets the first skill first, the first active skill, pretty much wins always, right? Scipio Liu gets absolutely obliterated by William Liu. Um, and that's not a good sign for new infantry players who only have CPO Liu and now, well, they need to bench CPO because they can only max one commander.
that sucks, you know. Uh, Gorgo, uh, William Wallace almost won against uh, Huo Nevsky, which is kind of unusual. Usually, like, Huo and Nevsky do a lot better in dueling. It's like an insane dueling march. So that was pretty interesting to see. Like, it's only, it's only 50k difference. Um, I believe we even got a report in which it won. William Wallace with Alexander the Great versus CPO Leo. Honestly, not that bad. William and Alexander, 40k difference against, like, a meta, meta pairing. It's not bad, but I hoped for a better report, of course. Then we had Gorgo and William, which slapped Scipio Liu Che. And I was like, what? What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I still need to research this, but somehow Gorgo William absolutely claps Scipio and Liu, which is weird. Then we had William Gorgo once again against Huo and Nevsky. This time it was still like 60k. It's not the worst report, but against Gav, you. Kind of expect better, but Gorgo, it's a garrison commander, um, but for field, she's pretty versatile, so I would say it's not too bad. Then we had William and Gorgo, now defeating Scipio Liu once again. And then we had William Gorgo versus Juge Burika, which was an old meta march. Nowadays it's not meta anymore, but you see Burika is pretty outdated already, it got absolutely smashed. By William Gorgo, which is not even the best march possible. William Liu is better. So that was kind of weird. Then we see William Wallace with Liu Che versus Gorgo Liu Che, which was the old meta cheeseburgering pairing. It's still a very good cheeseburger pairing. I use it this KVK as well. And Gorgo Liu Che gets clapped once again. And remember that Gorgo Liu Che was once like a very good. 1v1 march as well, it clapped absolutely everything. Then we have William Wallace and Leo versus Huo Nevsky, and now it beat Huo Nevsky. So we saw Gorgo was struggling there, but um, Liu Che and William definitely beat the Cavs, which is a good sign for us infantrymen. Then we have Liu Che and Wallace versus Scipio Liu Che. I was finding out, fine-tuning whether we should have uh, William Primary or Liu. Seems like William Primary is the best choice. Um, here's like 80k difference, and I believe with William it was a bit more, like 100k difference. William Liu, William Liu Che versus Juge Herman in arc, we see around 100k difference, which is pretty bad. Um, Juge Herman is pretty hard to beat for this march, even with uh, yeah, Liu Che, William Wallace. I should have edited those like right behind each other, but Liu Che, wait a minute, Liu Che, well, yeah, Liu Che, William did, did worse, yeah, that was expected, right? Yeah, this does better because this is uh, William primary, and you see, immediately see like this is 80k difference and that's a lot that's truly a lot um so let's move to the test that i did with my gear this is not um well not so good to use as reason for you to max william his sugar gear was pretty well not not the best it's not trash but it's also not meta right you need a horn you need a ring you need maybe the glorious god of set pieces well, so he used that in the reports. Same, Gorgo was actually quite okay gear. Special talents, I don't have any special talents. So that must help him quite a lot. Armament difference, I am not sure. I think I have better armaments. Pretty sure I do have better armaments. Here we see he used Herman Jugeliang and he got clapped. Probably because of that bad archer gear. He switched it around to Herman when we tested with Herman, so don't worry about that. We had William Wallace with Alexander the Great, something we... Did we test it in ARC? I think we did. It beat his Gorgo Liu. Um, so this, all these tests are not to show like the exact difference between William and the rest, 
but it just shows the difference if you calculate my own armaments and gear, you know? So it's not reliable as a source for you to max William. Once again, I said it before, but okay, here we see another William Gorgo. It's getting slapped by his Gorgo Liu. We see William with Joan of Arc, purple. I just like to test it. I was just curious, what is it gonna do? It's honestly not that bad. For an epic commander, it's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But okay. Um, let's see. This one was even closer. William Wallace with John Fark versus Juge Herman. With my gear and my armaments, it's actually it was actually pretty close. It's almost beating Juge Herman, which is a meta march. Then we have William Wallace at Liu Che versus uh, Zhuge Lian and Herman. And here you see the difference b between that purple Joan and Liu Che. This one trades positive like 1 to 3 almost. The other one trades negative 1 to 2, so don't use the purple Joan. Um, but it was just interesting test, you know. Then we have William Liu Che versus Gorgo Liu Che once again. It seems like we did it like a hundred times. One to two, almost. William Gorgo versus Gorgo Liu Che. It was pretty close this time. Um, it's just a matter of luck, basically. Who procs a horn, who procs a ring. I also found out some very interesting details on one of the talents of William Wallace, which is in the next video. And some other interesting facts that I will accumulate for the next video as well. For my KVK fights, which will be tomorrow, we'll have boss 7. I'll switch to this talent tree, probably. Maybe a little bit different, but this has a lot more march speed, so that's gonna be a lot more versatile. And, well, I'll update you on any KVK reports as well in my Discord. So make sure you join the Discord, which is in the link down below. Uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Uh, it was nice to have you here watch the video. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be about Leo Chase, or no, uh, William's talent tree, because there's something really interesting with it. See you later, bye.